Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome along to the National Tennis Centre here in Roehampton as uh, we look forward to the Pascal Hooser British Masters following on from the hugely successful Uni Lee Masters in Portsmouth earlier in the year. And the question today is whether anyone can beat the machine Simon Roberts. 96 players are in the draw, all hoping to lift this prestigious trophy. And I'm delighted to say that once again, myself, Adam Fielder and Mikey Pereira are in the commentary 30, box. 15. And uh, we join this at the quarterfinal stage. And the first match we're going to focus on is Ashley Neves taking on Matt Pierce. We are a little late to the coverage. Matt Pierce has won the opening all. game. So he leads uh, by a game to love. And Mikey, another terrific tournament and another great day in prospect. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it's great to be back. Uh, great to be back in the, the fold with you, Adam, alongside you. And uh, yes, we've really enjoyed watching the, the rounds up until this, uh, this quarterfinal. And this is a really good quarterfinal, I think, to get uh, things started off. Neves against Pierce, two consistent players on the tour. And uh, well, Pierce has had a good start. We'll see if he can make it two games in a row. Yeah, we, the reason we're a little delayed is we've just had uh, a marathon match, haven't 14, we, just before 30. this one in the last 16 stage. I think it was Ed Percival against Stu Searle. So um, this is why we're just a little delayed coming to this one. But uh, you wouldn't be entirely surprised whether this went the same way. That's a lovely shot. Just catching out Juice. this. Ashley Neves with the recognisable hair. I've seen a few people Juice with side. man buns. We have, yeah. Elliot Seabrook, of course, he's yep. uh, someone that we're not... I think Elliot Seabrook is carrying an injury. We the saw him boy. earlier. Um, what did you say? The poster boy. The poster boy, <laughs> the magician. Um, yeah, we saw him with his right sock off earlier on, so I think uh, he may I well just need. be suffering with a right ankle injury. Yeah. It did so what we're going to do, we're going to bring you two quarterfinal matches in the open okay. draw. We're also going to bring you the two semi-final matches and also, of course, the two finals, one in the open draw and, of course, the women's final as well, where uh, Selena Coburn, of course, who was so impressive in Portsmouth, looking to uh, win once again. Yeah, so one game all out here. She, just back on Selena Coburn, just on, on the women's side of things, she is the big favourite. And, uh, well, we expect to see her again in the final. Yeah, it was a very one-sided final, wasn't it, earlier on in Portsmouth against uh, Jodie Adams. So wonder if anyone can pressure her a little bit more this year. Now the big server 15. is uh, Ashley Neves, very much like Elliot Seabrook, who we saw in Portsmouth. Of course, some of the main differences in the rules, you've just 40, seen 15. something happen just there. If you serve and it clips the top of the net and goes in, then it, is, uh, it does count. Every player just gets one serve. As soon as you've tossed Neves. it up, you have to hit it as well. Yeah, that's the game for Neves. Confirmation Neves there from the umpire. Two games to one per set. And also the sets are only uh, first of four games, rather than uh, the normal tennis, of course, where it's first to six. So first of four games. If it's four games all, we then go to a tie break, which is first of five points. And if it's uh, four points all in that tie break, then uh, a deciding point is played with the receiver, of course, choosing which side to receive from. Yeah, it's tough, that. It's, it's one of the key things about this sport. There's absolutely no chance to settle. I mean, you have to get straight into it or a set's gone. Yeah. So, uh, these guys need to start quickly. Neves has done well. There it is again, just love. clipping the net on the way through. A little apology from uh, Pierce there. 72nd in the world, Matt Pierce at the moment, 26 years of age. Oh, it's a great rally. Best rally of the match so far. He is choosing to come forward. Nice volley there. Just about did enough with it. Yeah, I like that play. Coming forward to the net. 
being aggressive, taking things on. So 40 love, pretty close in the early stages here. Nothing too much separating them. Out. 40, 15. Plenty of people here as well supporting. More and more people coming through the door. And that goes long, so Pierce holds fairly comfortably. Two games all now Two in this opening all. set. It's a great event, not just uh, for the, the players, the spectators. There's so much to do around these, around these events. I mean, just looking outside, we can see there's a, a mini golf tournament set up. There's scale electrics. There's all sorts of stuff to keep you entertained. Had a lovely burger as well. You Lots did. Good we've, food we've here. We've been discussing potentially thinking about getting membership here, haven't we, we afterwards? We are thinking about becoming members here, yeah. This glorious club. It's where a lot of uh, the professional tennis players also practice. We've seen uh, Katie Swan and James yeah, Ward. Yeah. They obviously uh, come here to practice. Out. Open by the Queen as well, 15, so you 13. know it's good. <laughs> yeah, we saw Katie Swan and, uh, and James Ward watching some of this tennis, this touch tennis. 30 all. Yeah, I did think they may, yeah. they may try and uh, wangle their way into the draw, perhaps, but I'm not sure Rash would allow 30, it. 30, <laughs> 40. Game and there's Pierce. the break. So it's Pierce who makes the first move in the Pierce opening set. Two, and he will set. be serving forward in a couple of moments' time at 3-2. It's just white. Not 15. Ashley Neves, good player. He can mix it with the best, but he's also been uh, on the wrong end of a golden set, which is uh, well something that not many people will let him forget, I'm sure. No, that's where you don't win a point in the yep. entire set. So It's a bit of a kick in the teeth, isn't it? A little bit. A little soul destroying. Good overhead. We... Uh, Saw in Portsmouth just a couple of months ago the importance of trying to come forward to the net in touch tennis. Um, 30, Adam Hassan took on Simon Roberts in the final. He used it really effectively, actually, in the early stages of that final. He won the first set. He won a break up in the second set as well. And then uh, Simon Roberts, as he so often does, finds a way to work it out and find a way past Adam Hassan, which he did. Yeah, 40, just a bit wild, 15. this from Neves. And Pierce has the opportunities now. Just been a little untidy, this, from Neves. And Pierce can strike it. That's and again, Pierce. just what you were saying, Mikey, erratic from Neves, and, and the first set back. goes the way of Pierce. Four games to two. Fairly convincingly as well, and uh, well, if Neves doesn't sort out his consistency behind the ground strokes, then this quarter-final could be over fairly swiftly, couldn't it? Yeah, I mean, if he keeps finding these errors, it's a one-way ticket out of here. He's got to stop these quickly. Matt Pierce will just say, thank you very much, I'll have that. That's an extra point, no problem. And like you were saying, the uh, coming forward to the net, we saw Hassan doing that so well against Simon Roberts. In that final, remember that final, he, he was just so surprised, Simon Roberts. It, we thought, OK, they, these two are going to baseline, grind it out. Down but down, uh, down, in the first set, down. Hassan coming forward and just played such a good set of tennis, surprised everyone, and uh, in particular Simon Roberts. But that's all to come. Our focus here, Neves, Pierce, and Neves with another mistake. And Hassan Roberts got to the final here 12 months ago yeah. as well. And uh, just like the final in Portsmouth, Hassan took the opening set. 
And uh, Roberts had to find a way to come back, which he did again. Yeah, it's one of the best points of the match that Pierce has constructed. Again, just working his way forward. And the defensive lob just wasn't quite good enough from Neves. An easy overhead again. Not 30, sorry. Love 14. Well, Pierce did. Uh, he left school when he was 16 years of age. Tried to Game make it Pierce. as a professional tennis player. He competed at men's level on the Brit Tour and played some Futures events for five years as well. Game, second set. Didn't quite happen. And I suppose that's the beauty of touch tennis, isn't it? That if it doesn't quite happen, if you want to try and make it in tennis, you always have this to try and make it on as well. So yeah. there, are, there are skills that you can transfer very easily, very comfortably. And it's all about the touch. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds stupid to say that, but it's all about the touch and touch tennis. It's not about power. It is about uh, being clever, playing the ball around the court, and trying to work it out, work every point out. That's exactly what uh, Matt Pierce is doing at the moment. Out. Just long there from Love Pierce. The yeah, it is very difficult to overpower an opponent, isn't it, in touch tennis? You see the likes of Elliot Seabrook with the big serve. Yep. But, um, yeah, really, when the rally is then uh, in play, it's very Bale. difficult to hit winners past players <laughs> because of, the obviously, the softness of the ball, and it's just really difficult. Well, there's a or was the ball just split in half really there, I think? <laughs> Not sure what happened there. just broke. The ball's made of, uh, of foam. Yeah, we do need hoovers. Yep. We've seen the vacuum cleaners uh, around the place. After every match, the vacuum will just come on because the ball does shred a little bit throughout. Well covered. Not a lot of space there for Neves to try and get past it, Pierce, but Pierce was there to cover it anyway. He does well at that. He really does dominate the net. Just says, try and pass me. No chance. Yeah, well, the courts are so small as well, obviously. You're quite an imposing figure if you come forward. Not a huge amount of space to try and manoeuvre the ball past. And, of course, with the court being shorter in length as well, not easy to lob either. Yeah, I think it's a really good play coming forward. 40-15. Oh, this is rapidly getting away from Neves. Needs to turn this around. That's uh, 40, an error from 30. Pierce. Three point, of course, it is just the one serve. You get it out, it's a point to your opponent. Yeah, Ashley Neves, one of many players who uh, play the game that live in the Portsmouth area. The likes of uh, Ben Mason, Harry Harris, Scott Yule, Tasha Bibby. Donna Shepherd, all from that neck of the woods. Oh, well. Juice. Yeah, should have made that. Deciding point. So we go to a deciding Juice point. Juice side. So the receiver gets to choose which side they uh, decide to receive from. He's chosen the juice side. And that is long. This really could be a turning Dang point Neves. because Neves has One not been on. in this match at all. And Matt Pierce, 40 15 up has thrown that game away and he's thrown the racket away. Yeah, very frustrated. And that's exactly what you want to see as an opponent, don't you? You look up and yep. you see the racket going flying. It gives you a huge amount of confidence. When we play, you throw your racket. I do, yeah. Yep. yeah. Get under your skin. Yeah. <laughs> you force me into it. <laughs> Mental edge. They have been Love playing indoor 40. and outdoor today. There's uh, a few outdoor courts because there's so many players in the draw. Come back a bit, Sam. So uh, obviously the indoor courts, there's just not quite enough courts to uh, get it going. Otherwise, we'd be here for days. So I'm not sure whether that would affect players transferring from outdoor then coming indoor. There's been a bit of rain in the air and a bit of wind, perhaps. So probably easier to be uh, inside all the time. Oh, oh, yeah, got it this time. That's a Game lovely Pierce. shot. Down the line, whipped it past Neves. 
And Pierce does please. sit down at the uh, change one, events with the lead, set, just uh, his nose in front, two games to one. Yeah, the weather's been okay here in Roehampton today, southwest London. It's uh, been sunny for large parts of the day, but it has just uh, rained a little bit. So, of course, that's the great thing about this sport. I mean, you can play it inside, you can play it outside, you can play it anywhere. Play it in your, your garden. Yeah. That's how Rash started. He did, yeah. The creator, the yeah. brainchild of this. Yeah, he wanted a game to play with his, uh, with his daughter. So he decided to put a touch tennis court up in their garden. And, um, yeah, that's how it has come to prominence, really. 135 ranking points on offer, by the way, if you uh, lose at the quarter-final stage. £40 as well, prize money. Oh, what a volley that was from these. So difficult, that crouching right into the body, but did so well to get his racket up in time. Yeah, you say it's grown from uh, Rash's garden. I mean, in this year, there'll be up to 20 Touch Tennis World Tour events from South Africa, Dubai to Weybridge. Yeah, we need to get on the South Africa and Dubai trip, yeah. don't we? Yeah. That would be nice. And of course, on Sky Sports as well these days, so there'll be uh, a highlights program in a couple 30, of weeks, I'd 15. imagine. There's live on Sky uh, quite a few times, actually, as well. Just doing the business at the moment, Pierce. Just going along nicely. It's a little bit of a lull in this particular set, but he's just picking up points with regularity. Wonderful rally. Again, probably the best rally we've seen today. That cross-court forehand from Neves earlier on in the point was sensational. Pierce did very well to get it back. He'd be disappointed to miss the backhand then. Big difference in terms of the world rankings yeah. between these two. Neves at 15, Pierce at 70 seconds. So He's better than that, though. Matt Pierce should be higher. Yeah, when you watch him play like this, it's pretty difficult to envisage how he's uh, ranked so far down. But yeah, you yeah. can see the idea. Not a bad idea, but just uh, couldn't execute. Pierce. And it is another game for Pierce. Yeah, just one game away now. From a semi-final position, and of course, if he does reach the semi-finals, more ranking points on offer, and that world ranking of 72 will very swiftly come down, won't it? 225 ranking points on offer for losing in the semi-finals, 350 if Love you come runner-up, and 500 for the eventual champion. I suppose the big news as well here is that uh, Elliot Mould 15, is here as 30. well. Yeah. This time, he wasn't there in Portsmouth a couple of months ago. Well, that's the uh, 15, 40. pitfall of going for the big first serve, isn't it? You only get one chance, and it is gifted PS2 match points. There goes 30, one of them. 40. I suppose he technically has uh, still two more match points with the deciding point on offer, if it goes to juice. Well, that's exactly why you go for a big serve, Jeez. because that was almost unplayable, Round unreturnable. One, well, it's impressive, isn't it? Under pressure there, he knew if he missed he that start. serve, he was out. Yeah. Didn't bother him. Yeah, those Game are some Neves. stunning points under pressure there from Neves, and he does really well. He manages to save three match points, and he fights on in this quarterfinal match. He two, still trails set by, by a set to and three games to two.
Love 15. Fifteen all. Yeah, it was just 15, long. 13. So he's allowing Neves back in here, Piers, yeah. isn't he? Did not see this coming at all. I mean, this is a real route back in for Neves. Yeah, amazing how quickly things can turn around. Just like we saw in Portsmouth in that final, it looked as though Adam Hassan was absolutely cruising to victory. Good serve, really all. good serve under pressure. Rains it down at pace. On to 30 all we go. He's a couple of points away from the finish line. Oh, that's uh, a beautiful point. We haven't seen too many uh, 14, players serve 30. volley today. But uh, I think he had to come forward. Such was the quality of that first serve. So 40-30. He has uh, another match point. Oh, has oh, well, it crept game. through? No, it hasn't. Set it's into the net. Pierce. And Matt Pierce survives. Neves did his best to try and come back. But in the end, Pierce was four just two, good enough. Four two. And he books his spot into the semi final. A straight sets victory 4 2, 4 3 over Ashley Neves. He played well, Mikey. It's a very good win. Uh, and Pierce made that look pretty comfortable, I think, throughout. Neves was trying to play catch up, couldn't quite manage it. And Pierce will be absolutely delighted to waltz through to the semi finals. That's where he is now. And who knows, he might have every chance of winning this. Absolutely, so that's the uh, first quarter-final match done. We've got uh, another quarter-final match coming up very shortly indeed, so do not go anywhere.